Today I have seven Halloween crafts for you, all made from dollar store items. So let's get started. I had these orange lights on hand, so I wound them into a circle. Then I cut out a piece of spider webs and covered them. I know this might seem a little crazy, but I took a paintbrush and just dabbed black paint all over the webs. I wanted this to look like coals. Next, I filled a plastic cauldron with cotton balls, placed the light on top, and covered it with spider webs. Then I dabbed on some light green acrylic paint. I ran hot glue around the outer edge of the rim. I put it on kind of thick because I wanted it to drip. I used the same light green acrylic paint and painted the glue and a little bit of the rim. I took two shades of brown and a red and dabbed it on, trying to make it look like rust. I like how this turned out, especially when it's dark and lit up. On this next one, I took wood letters from the Dollar Tree and white apple barrel paint that I already had and painted the letters to spell boo. I picked up a basket from Dollar Tree and lined it with felt. And then I placed floor foam inside. I kind of sound like that movie. What was that movie where he goes... And then, no end then. I'm sorry, I went out and left field there for a second. Anyway, I hot glued the letters that I painted to the front. Y'all notice the smoke coming off everything I hot glue with this thing? I told my husband I'd like to have a cordless hot glue gun. And he gets me this Ryobi here from Home Depot. And I'm going to tell you what, I love that you can recharge it. But it will take the skin off of your fingers if you're not careful. To make a ghost, I taped balls to the top of my paint bottles and laid cheesecloth over them. Then I took this heavy starch and gave it a good spray. Once it was dry, I glued on the eyes that I cut from felt. To put this together, I placed felt on top. I stuck in two picks also from the Dollar Tree. I placed the light on top and laid cheesecloth over top of that. Place the ghost and it's finished. The third DIY, I took a candy dish from Dollar Tree and painted a little bit of silver all over. Then I took a goblet also from Dollar Tree and added cotton balls and a spider. I did end up hot gluing these down off camera. I cut out felt and glued it to the bottom of the dish. Then I glued spiders to every other section. I hot glued the goblet to the bottom and also glued down a strip of felt that I cut to clean it up a bit. For the fourth DIY, I took a sign from Dollar Tree and some paper from Hobby Lobby and just glued it down. To attach the wood arrow that I also got from Dollar Tree to the bottom, I'm going to cut the jute twine, and then I'm going to mark my spots where I want to drill my holes, and then I'm going to drill two holes. I pulled the jute twine through the holes and tied knots in each side. I took these metal words from Dollar Tree and hit them with some paint. I used a mixture of red, black, and brown. I took a stencil that I've had for years and never used and painted on of. I took some wood cubes that I got from Hobby Lobby, painted them black. Then I hot glued them to the back of Beware. Then I attached it to the sign with more hot glue. I also attached Haunted with hot glue. I attached a spider off camera. I hit the arrow with some black acrylic paint. I cut out a vinyl decal on my Cricut Maker and placed it on the arrow. This DIY shows three different ways to add lettering to any of your projects. The fifth DIY is easy as all get out. I took a glass hurricane from Dollar Tree, threw in some black pom-poms also from Dollar Tree. Then I started building by adding a pumpkin and an eyeball. Then I took some fairy lights that I had and started working them in, not putting them all in there, just part of the way. Then I added another pumpkin, another eyeball, and a spider. Then I just repeated the process and adjusted them how I wanted them. I finished it off by stringing in the rest of the lights, adding another spider, and tucking the switch in the back. The six DIY items came from Dollar General. On the back of the chalkboard adhesive, I just free-handed a jack-o'-lantern face. 
Then I just cut it out with scissors. As you can see, drawing is definitely not my strongest suit. I just wanted to show you that you can get creative and create your own decals without a machine. I cleaned the jar with denatured alcohol. I peeled the adhesive from the backing and placed it on the jar like I would a sticker. I just rubbed each of them down with my thumb. No special tools needed. I showed my husband. He laughed, said I forgot the nose. So, of course, I had to go back and cut out a nose. Now on to the seventh and last DIY. Got this jar from Dollar Tree and it already had that hazy, smoky look to it. So I took a Sharpie and drew eyes and a mouth. To darken them up a bit, I just went back with some black acrylic paint and painted over it. This little feller's ready for a tea light candle. If you like this video, click subscribe and that there bell. Thanks for watching.